What is up, Wolf Life? Welcome to the channel, welcome to another video. Here we are, doing it again, doing it again. I hope you've had a good week so far. Ugh, sorry, come on with me. You're filling up, we gotta go to the other side. We picked up our next load, you can see right there. I'll tell you what it is in a second. But, first load coming from our break in Sacramento. We picked up this North California. Uh, but we had to cross through Reno first <laughs> and back into Cali. First time doing that. But we're putting in a little bit of fuel right now because we're about to take 95 South, which I've never taken before. Uh, so you guys are gonna come with me on that ride. But we are taking 95 down. And uh, I still haven't got very good with the whole map thing. I gotta find out the best way to show that little map trick for everybody to see the direction we're going but we're taking uh us 95 down out of uh reno we're trying to keep in a quiet place a few islands uh but look at this sunrise guys look at the sunrise beautiful sunrise this morning and our goal today is to get to kingsman it's only about 560 miles <coughs> Today is Friday. We don't got to deliver this to Monday to Fort Hood, Texas. That's where we're going. Um, it's about, total it was about 1,730 miles or so. We already ran almost about 100 of that uh, this morning or yesterday after we picked up. We stopped in Sparks and hanged out uh, with an old friend of Ashley's that she hasn't seen in several years. So, took a chance to do that and now we're running on the road. So, let's finish fueling guys and Get some trucking done. But stay tuned for the video with a little bit more uh, info coming on. All right, see you guys in a sec. What's up, Wolf Pack? How's it going? Good morning. Uh, no, it's been a while. You guys have been riding a lot. But we are in Winslow, Arizona already. It is Saturday morning. Uh, I didn't want to bore you guys with a bunch of road footage, so I just, just move it ahead, right? So, uh, I haven't told you what we're picking up. We're putting up a little bit of fuel. We have 
We drove about 200 miles this morning already here for the fuel stop. And uh, then we're gonna continue another, hopefully 480 miles. It's my goal, so I'll check what my clock is doing. And uh, then we'll finish the day tomorrow, Sunday, as close as possible where we can stop. We'll kinda check the strap. The music is loud in this uh, pilot, so. We're gonna stop here at the dentist, probably grab breakfast. I'm gonna wake up actually here in a second. It's almost nine. <laughs> uh, but I don't know if I'll tell you what we picked up. See the load right there? It's containers. We actually picked this up from an army base uh, up in North California, 395 I believe. But you had to go 80 to Reno and then go back into 395 in California. Uh, I couldn't film them, of course, because it's an RV base. We had to go through uh, a process getting, sorry, a process getting there. It took a bit, but I'll explain that a little later, what we had to do, just in case you ever have to go there, you know, know what might expect. Um, as you guys know, I personally don't have my Twig card right now yet. <clears throat> I should have done that when I was in Cali, but I was so involved with my kids and grandkids, so I totally forgot. Um, but probably next time we stop and take a break, uh, then I'll make sure to get that. I do want to have it. Uh, there's some pros and cons for us because Ashley's in the truck and she's just chicks it. But we'll talk about that later on in the video. So stay tuned for that. Uh, pros and cons when you have a passenger. If you're looking to have your loved one or somebody with you. So, but anyway, we're going to finish fueling here. Uh, these are going to Fort Hood, Texas. I don't know if I said that. Uh, which is another base so hopefully they don't take us long and it shouldn't be long of the process because we have a longer day ahead on the next stop um so just give you a heads up on that because this delivers monday then we we are deadheading four hours uh to tercercana from fort hood and i'll tell you a little little why i'm doing that not that i had to um but again i'll tell you a little later why but we're gonna get to tercercana we're gonna pick up a load of coils. There's a can I go into Kansas, just south of Kansas City. Um, and from there, we're taking already a load. We got our next load after that. Our reload is gonna go from Kansas City, just 20 minutes from where we're dropping off, uh, into three stops of tractors, I believe. Um, no tarp, going to towards Florida. And we're gonna end up our week in Florida where we need to be uh, by Friday, so and I'll tell you why that later. So stay tuned for that. Can't give you everything now, but uh, let's finish fueling, guys, and we'll get some breakfast, and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. All right, let's go. What's up, guys? What's up, Wolfpack? Good morning again, and it's Sunday morning, mid morning. That's about. 10 a.m. Central Time now because time changed. So I lost another hour. But we are in Lubbock, Texas. Uh, we got about 350 miles to go to our destination. We'll stop about uh, 30 minutes away from that. It's the closest little truck stop to stop at. So hopefully we find a little space to squeeze in there for the day. Um, here, fueling, as you can see, we're spreading the fuel <laughs> as we go. It gets cheaper in the south, though. So glad to be down here again um, I know a lot of road footage not speaking a whole lot just catching up I'm about to stop here but let me catch up with something with you guys here in a second you know I love long trips for a sense there's pros and cons when you're doing longer trips like this um, of course the pros is you get to take a little more time just a little bit. At least it feels like it. More relaxed, you're driving. You're not, you know, where you have to get somewhere ASAP for the next day and so forth. You kind of, you know, drive your miles. You got driving time. Take your 30 where you want to take your 30. If you need to go to stop for a store, you do. Once take a break, you do. Bad speakers. Um, the cons on it, just realizing it after working the East Coast for a, a long period of time. The cons on it, it can get boring. 
because you're seeing just road and road, a lot of nothing. So, that's some days can get a little boring when you do it for like you know several days at a row in a row, but you're just driving. Uh, when you do it for the first time, it's awesome for sure. With the first couple of times, but uh, you know, a day can get boring after a while. And you got to stay, keep keep yourself busy. Um, chewing gum, taking snacks, healthy snacks, things like that. At least for me, listening to the radio, changing music. Uh, God, why not? Trying to call somebody that you know, a buddy or a family member, just to kind of keep your mind going, thinking about things. So, you know, all that's going to happen. For you guys who are considering coming in here, just keep that in mind. It's always exciting at first, especially when traveling, you're seeing new things, and uh, I love it. And I'm still excited. I love seeing the beautiful landscape and taking new roads and things like that. But it can get boring at times when you're just going I 40 or I 10 through the desert, Arizona. New Mexico, it's the same thing over and over again. Um, so, just want to keep that in mind. So we're looking forward to going east uh, and doing a couple of quick loads, you know, pick up, drop off the next day or so. So we're looking forward to that. Like I said, we are heading um, to finish our week in Florida. And I told you guys earlier, I was gonna tell you why we're doing that. And the reason for that is my grandma's 86th birthday and my aunt and some of my family members celebrate, we're celebrating it on Saturday. <coughs> so, uh, yeah, we just came from home time. I get it, I know, or quote unquote home time. But this is the advantage that we got as these operators, uh, owner operators know the deal. I mean, we get to choose where we go and when we take breaks. So instead of taking a 34 out on the road, we're gonna take a 34 with family and hit the road back again on Monday. It's gonna be a quick one, just kind of a weekend thing. No extended stay. So, uh, cause we need to make some, make some moolah. So, uh, that's the plan for this week and that's where we're running. So hopefully everything goes well. My biggest, little bit of, not concern, but my biggest thing is gonna be Monday or again. I also told you guys I was gonna have a long deadhead and the reason for that, it's a good pain mile, mile, per mile rate in Terzarkana. Uh, I'm actually doing a favor for the agent uh, because this load wasn't the one I was going to take. I was going to take a load from them. Uh, it's a couple of agents, as I said. It's not the same one, but this bad. But it's a couple of agents, and I was supposed to take a different load from them that they had offered. It took a little longer. This one kind of came in and swooped right under it just minutes before they got me a confirmation. So they got me a good rate coming to Sarkana. He comes out. Basically the same if I did head to something just closer. Uh, as far as the per mile, per mile rate, it just sits at the average. Uh, so it's gonna be a longer dead hit. So my my plan or my hope is that I can deliver this first thing in the morning and it doesn't take long as it did to pick it up since it's military. Uh, but I'm hoping that within an hour or two I'm out of there because I have we have about four, four hours, 20 minutes or so dead hit to touch that camp. Fort Hood and I want to get there in good time. We're picking up aluminum coils and they got to be tarp. Uh, so it's going to be a busy Monday. Other than that, the other ones should be our piece of cake because this is the only quick one for Wednesday in Kansas City. And then the Kansas City one is just 20 minute dead heads for when we're dropping off and it's going straight to Florida and it's a three stopper in the Orlando area. Uh, and I'll tell you guys more about that on the next video. But. That's what we're doing it. That's why we're doing it. Let me know. Let's go potty, mama. My baby's taking uh, Nyla to do her thing this morning real quick. I mean, she already did, but um, yeah, I'm at the fuel island. There's nobody waiting. So I'll move on in a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's the plan, guys. That's what we're doing this week, so stay tuned. I do want to say I appreciate all you guys' support, always on the channel. Um, the tour of the truck is coming. I decided, I've been, I watched it, and I didn't, I was so busy with my grandkids that I didn't get to come back, didn't want to spend time, uh, honestly. I love you guys, but I didn't want to spend time for my kids to be recording the video. Uh, so, it is dirty, a little bit dirty again, but I'm gonna do it regardless. You guys know that T680 looks on the outside. The biggest thing on this truck is the engine, of course, which you guys know what it is but the inside and really seeing how Ashley and I organize the truck, mostly her, that's not even 5% of her, 
uh, how the truck is organized inside for both of us and how we live. So that's pretty much that tour is gonna come. All right, guys, so that's it. I just wanna give you a quick update of where we're at. We're gonna continue going. As I say, we've got 300 miles or so to go for the day and then and, and we'll stop for the afternoon. So uh, we'll see you then. What's up, we'll pack. Just with another update. We are arrived at our destination. We are in Lompas, Lompas, Lompasas, Lompasas, Texas. <laughs> I'm trying to say it in English for you guys, non-Spanish speaking people. But um, Lompasas, Texas, we're just outside. We're close to clean, uh, about 30 minutes from our Fort Hood uh, stop for tomorrow. So this is where we are going to stay for the night. Uh, these are definitely one of those days. There's no major uh, truck stops in the area, no Lowe's, TA, things like that. It's all U.S. highways, small spots where to stop, use the restroom, like I say, maybe a little bit of snacks or whatever if you don't have food in your truck. Uh, but none of these places have showers for you, rookie. So if you plan to stay in a U.S. road to try and get as far as you can, keep that in mind. Either shower before you get there, or that might be one of those nights for a little, you know, water and towel water bottle and towel or wipey shower combination so uh, it doesn't happen very often but it, it happens from time to time it depends how you run and where you're running and all that kind of stuff so just keep that in mind just want to share that out there for the rookie channel so uh, but this is where we're starting for the night I'll turn you guys around so you guys can see it looks like a pretty decent spot let's say Sonico little stripe place to say there's some taco companies out there we'll check out if there's see if there's any tacos later on it's raining right now there's space for about supposed to be space for about three or four trucks right over there and then about five six trucks here so around 10 11 trucks can fit in this little in this area of course you can make your own parking if you need to I already see one over there in the corner so um, so other than that, make sure to subscribe, stay tuned for the next video, hit that notification bell, you can know what to do. Till then, we'll Friday out. Peace.